America. Number one! BP with solo, except he actually has farm. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's all about to pop the BKB. Looks like Ancient Apparition is done though for 60 seconds, not able to buy back into this bad boy. Bata right. did have to use BKB for that though. Could have maybe got a glimpse on the troll. They're trying Zeus, maybe. There. Oh, oh, that's Bata. a really good call. On to with Bata. Pops the blade mail, and Yoku is done though again. Static Zone was able to get off time with a nice BKB activation from FM. They get a couple of heroes, but that is the Aegis. Troll War we will be back, but cops to DKB to be able to get off that pit of malice. Looks like we have a Shackle Puppy again in the front lines, Underlord in a lot of trouble. And that Nimbus coming through again. As there's the Disarm and the Diffuse, and Medusa, if he goes down, this is 100% game in favor of Secret. GG's come out, so Secret moves on to the upper... Uh, on this day, January 5th, 2018, my team and I fought a hard battle against one of the greatest foes we've ever faced, the evil other team. The evil geniuses. It was a hard game one, but there I was an underlord, but General Mid One destroyed Underlord's plans with well played four staff. Some would ask pro players by four staff on purpose to bamboos. What the hell is that word? Bamboozle. What is that? To mess up. Okay. Purpose to bamboozle Underlord's up to. And to them, I say yes and no, because it never hurts. Nicely done. Still, it took a lot of heroes to do that. Yeah. With TP committed, TP's been committed as well. I mean, RTZ's still farming now. Midwood coming in, EMP Tornado as well, completely out of mana. They'll drop the Pit of Malice. Good Fisher on to three, but where's the follow-up? RTZ trying to get away. He popped the War Cry. Godspring's still available, but he doesn't have mana for it. 12 wand charges, he will use them. Now Ace looking for an Omni Slash. He's thinking about using it on Fear, and he might. Trying to not fog here, and he will be able to get through back towards his Tier 2 tower. Fear will take the Omni, and they cannot quite bring it to RTZ, but Ace is pretty far up. He's got Blade Fury in one, and now they're gonna get crit as well. A double kill, a mega kill screen. Fasta, they're diving. They've got the Tornado coming in as well. RTZ, Static Link, 73 damage, 84, getting whipped up by Fada. RTZ slowed up. He's got the Purge. One more auto attack will do it, and they get the kill. Three dead for EG, and Ace will clear a stack on top of it. Very big fight for Secret. It's that big BKB plus one item for, for Spen. He has that SMY, the BKB, in the quick buy. Mid one, he has caught up. He's got the Hand of Midas. He's got the four staff ready to go, but he is going to get jumped on. Gosh, Frank, they decrep him. The Nether Brat Blast and Life Drain actually just makes him explode. Jackals now. The Omni Slash coming oh, in. RTZ maybe in trouble. The Echo Slam as well. They've got plenty of damage too. Dead. It's going to be three for EG. Secret Art cleaning up. The Axor gets a double kill. That is the blink reveal and beautifully done from him. 1k advantage right now for Secret. But uh, biggest thing, losing the Aegis. Buyback is not available for Jug. They're going to push straight down mid for EG. They have Gotchfang back up in 10. They want to push this. Oh, they want to try to get a tier 3. They want to try to get a Rax out of this as well. Seconds, no jug. This is going to be huge for Secret. Don't think they can defend without the Jug, but it is going to be a 4 versus 5 fight here as everybody is rotated in from RTZ. He pops the God's Train. He also has the Lotus Orb on him as well. He's going to get 4 for Pit his mouth. They've got the Hex up. Bata trying to static link him. He pops the BKB to Dark, but Fear wants to get out of here. They've war trapped him. The Shackle's coming as well. Oh. And they actually forced Fear away. He misses the Dark Rift, and now EG has to run. RTZ getting lower and lower. Fata doing so much work. Yaptor trying to get the enchant totem. Oh Doesn't even God. need the stun to get the kill. He's dead for 115 seconds, and now the Jug has respawned in 15 seconds, and they will be able to run straight down mid, and Secret can try to finish this game off as well. Pushing you away. Pushing you away. Pushing you away. Away from me. Perfect net move to the Shrines, but I don't think that's going to happen here for EG. Still, though, they have a 1k lead now. Luna is still giant in terms of the net worth. Misery walking up, trying to get the wards down. Can't oh, do boy. it. He gets blown away by Ace. <laughs> that was optimistic. That's a backup one. Yeah. Yep. Don't want to I, I know what he was going for, but yep. Misery, the only survivor. Going for the war drop. Trying to drop the wards, but mid one is there. <laughs> the net is I've seen this movie before, Misery. Oh, man. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's so close every time. 
just can't quite get up to the hill. Oh my god, That's someone had slaughter. a sick nether blast there. Yep. The mystic flares were coming out too from Yapsor. No, Misery, don't oh, walk up. Boy. Get out of there. Oh, oh no. Wanted he wanted the gem so badly. He wanted the gem. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Sorry, close game. Unfortunately, they have a mid one Ember, so that to me feels like a game winner. So yeah. uh, I'm also in favor of the panel there with the secret pick. Yeah, I mean, they all thought secret was good to do really well here. I'm enjoying the dancing for the Monkey King. Here. All right, now they definitely won. Yeah, this is, it's over already. Look at this. This is the best thing I've seen all day. Yeah, I think the next big problem for them will be the uh, BKB for the OV. They're going to try and probably pressure in with that on the side of Mineski, and that'll be the big fight that they're going to have to try and win inside of Secret, but it helps the Disruptor's dead. Yeah, and they're going to find him here. The hook comes out. Fada, he's got the skewer available. They use the finger. They blow up the Disruptor, and now they've used the Stampede, and they're going to try to find something. RP onto two from Fada. The skewer back under the Tier 2 tower. They've got damage. Where's the CK coming in? Jax is getting low at this point. They pop the extra send the Wukong's command coming out. Nana in trouble, getting caught and killed. Three dead. Secret with a great fight now for Mineski will lose. Easy retreat as we still wait for that next growth. Feels like it's been a while, but uh, he'll be back pretty soon. 35 yeah. more seconds or so. And uh, he will be carrying a lovely little bit of cheese there. So I'm gonna try and grab up here and maybe facilitate someone into a high ground push. We'll have to see. And Mineski are gonna make a move here. They're gonna try to hit the bottom lane. Taking up mid one will be probably the best bet for them, but it's gonna be tough. And he continues to farm and get a lot. They're gonna go for the Astral. Oh, no. That's not what you wanted to see. That is unfortunate. <laughs> oh. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. In my mind, Vichy just hit a really strong timing now with two 10 second BKBs. OD is not good against them. Coddle is worthless against these BKBs. Ogre is useless as well. There's actually more or less no way the secret killer hero in BKB right now. Oh, Roshan being attempted by Vichy Gaming right now. Fata. Best bomb is on its way. They'll find him. They're gonna go off the fire blast. He goes to work on the pop rock. We pop the BKB. Chronosphere onto two. Looks like most of the damage, not the, the not really that much. The life stealer. Oh, the cheese off. Oh my god, he gets the cheese off just in time. Now he's dealing even more damage. The refresher chart still on the ground right now. BKB pop by Lan M8. Working on more support. It's a two for one. Mid one to first the fall for secret. Triple kill for ace. He is an absolute beast. And Medusa falls at Afterwards, who picked up the refresher shard? Looks like Fata got the ages. An enormous fight for Team Secret. Young 11. Looks like he'll be able to get that TP up. Oh, he gets stunned with the blinding light again. Puppy continuing the chase. TP canceled. Young 11 with no mana to speak of. See if they can actually get this kill. It's mana leak again. And that is another kill. That's a team wide for Team Secret. And Ace and company, they're they're on the footsteps of Beachy's base. They're gonna position themselves for the bottom now. They might give up two lanes to not buy back their Medusa here. Maybe they feel like they can't fight anyway. We'll see what their decision is. And this tower at the very least is dead. Puppy comes up with a beautiful fissure. They're gonna blow up the morph lane, but of course that is just the Aegis. Ori pops the BKB. Looks like they're going to work on the poor Amber Spirit. Buyback was used by Medusa. The question is, will Vici Gaming back up or not? Ori continue with the Spirit Siphon. Looks like Ace is going to continue to deal damage. Gets the Hurricane Pike off, but Paparazzi is there. Puppy and company, they are able to take out Lion, but he buys back into the game. Meanwhile, looks like the Stone Cave is being applied to Ori. <laughs> and they'll ring around the rosy, and they're going to deal substantial damage as he's in stone form. Pops that Shiva, though. He's very tanky. Gets the Yule up as well. Paparazzi continue to right click. If they're able to take out Medusa, this will be game in all likely. It's going to be close. He's extremely low. Will they finish him off? They do. That is a dieback, but they do get Paparazzi. Nope. He's still half HP. Wave form again. Puppy. Very low gets surged away. They will finally, finally get this Morphling. A triple kill for mid one, but a very expensive one at that. Ultra kill, in fact. So secret technically hold, but it was very expensive. Probably because he has buyback and Ori doesn't, and this is like the safer approach from Michi. Yeah. So showing very good understanding of the risks. And oh, there goes Slam used, impale to follow though. And here comes mid one, dealing tons of damage. Ori half HP with the BKB activated. The Morphling died right off the bat. He was full agility. So they just found a great initiation for Secret. Now here's the Hex. See if they can find some more. Young 11, nice fissure from Puppy again. They're gonna try to think. There's the refresher. Ori pops the BKB. Young 11 with the nice coil onto two heroes into the crit form. Here comes Paparazzi. He bought back in the game and he's dealing a ton of damage. Double kill for him. Puppy looks to be next on the list. That is gonna be a third kill from that buyback. Well worth it if you are Vici Gaming. And here's the buybacks now from Secret being used to full effect. Two there. And Vici 
We'll see if they continue the pressure or not. Ori still with the exorcism. That was the refresher shard, I do believe. Yep. He has the Aegis, but that second life is not so useful now that he's used Indeed. to his shard. If they can get Paparazzi here, this will be a dieback. Here comes Spotted with a back into the wall, into the right clicks. But Ori taking lots of damage on the sideline. Morkling and company, they get the rack. They should be happy with this. Ori, he gets Searing Chains, has to pop BKB again. He's extremely fast right now. Lan M rolling out. Ori might be the sacrifice if they're not careful. The figure does not connect with Ori, though. Lan M looks to be doing that for his team. And down he goes. So 40 seconds with no puck, 82 with no Earth Spirit. Mid one has the Mid Revenant recharge talent. He keeps There's a Searing Chains. He gets healed up thanks to the Exorcism. Gets silenced into Telekinesis and the Fissure. Can they actually finish him off? With Fenrir and Paparazzi, it's very tricky here for Seeker. They can continue to try to CC this Death Prophet. But Paparazzi deals so much damage, they have to fear that. They will take him down. That is the Aegis, though. And Morphling has to pop the BKB. Mid one and Secret will continue to try and chase either hero. Or for this Morphling, this will be huge. He's going to go down if he's not careful. This is going to be a huge kill for Seeker. And down he goes. 120 seconds, no Morphling. Can Secret actually do this? At the very least, this bottom racks will be falling. If not more, the mid racks not available for the taking. They could just go straight for throne. No creeps, though. The fortification's there. Refresher the orb. The protection. Creeps now are coming in. Refresher orb on Ori. All right, he's going to have double exorcism. The, his actual ult just came up as well, so no morphling, though, for 100 seconds. Here comes the coil. Onto two heroes. Onto, he actually stole it. Did did the Rubik, and Ori's gonna pop the BKB with that Exorcism Ace. Trying to kite him to a high degree. He's gonna get stunned up. Can they bring him down again? There's the wall. He's taking tons of damage. There's a right click. There's the Echo Slam. Puppy takes him out, and Secret are gonna force this to a game five. Some way, <laughs> somehow. How is this possible? And all of that time, Secret are farming all of their cores, and Vichy are just running from one side of the map to the other. Oh boy, mid one. Mid one they they find a cooldown right oh, now. The urn charge is He's there, too but fast. Drum. Damn, that was close. The reality that was available. Ice Path is here. Puppy. See if he ends up being the sacrifice. They're they're scared to go any further in the jungle. Fenrir hey, is solo super Ori slow up. right now. He is going to get destroyed. And you're right, Ori dies on the other side of the map. Here comes the Axe Call. Beautifully done. Ice Black on the two. Into an Ice Path as well. Paparazzi looking to run, but extremely slow. There's the Culling Blade. Faka looking for more. Can he get a second with that Berserker's Call? That is a resounding yes. Another kill for Secret with a 6k lead. And here comes Meepo to clean up even more. A full team wipe for Secret. They could probably just go for Roche. For Secret, smoked up, looking for the going in. They're gonna oh. jump in and destroy Skyrath. He is gone and for 35, no buyback. Okay. Not the most important hero, but still 5v4 advantage, or if you're counting Meepos, a lot more. Uh, I can't do math that fast. Four, 50 against three. <laughs> sure. Tier three tower gonna be taking some damage. Look how far back VG is. It doesn't even matter. Mid one jumps in. This is the zoning. Requiem yeah. of Soul. They're just going to go for buildings all like it. Lan Am is dead. Paparazzi next. Double kill for mid one. And the Mystic Flare coming into play, but not dealing that much damage. Okay, they do take out the Aegis to the very least. Surprised that Seeker aren't just cleaning up the buildings. His Ace will be trying to poop away. He will do so successfully. The tier three tower is dead. And this will in all likelihood be me or <laughs> will be Meepo taking out the racks. And Mega Creeps to follow. Here's the last fight of the game in all likelihood. Ice Pass coming in. Ori is done though. 55 seconds on the deck. GG's come out. Team Secret are the champions of Captain's Draft 4.0. Yeah!